Hi, I'm Jeff Watts and welcome to another light bulb talk. This one is about retrospectives and more specifically retrospectives for teams who are bored. I was asked recently what I would recommend for a team who thought they were so good that they didn't need retrospectives anymore, they couldn't improve. My immediate response was to tell that team to quit. Go freelance, a specialist team for hire. Because if they're that good, they could command any price they wanted to, because there just aren't that many of those amazing, perfect teams around. I'd also recommend them to write a book or a film, get someone to come in and make a documentary about them because they're just so amazing. But all jokes aside, I believe all teams can improve and if the team is particularly disillusioned with retrospectives, I'd say that's usually just a symptom. It's not actually that they don't like retrospectives, it's that they've just got a need that's not being met by the current way that retrospectives are being run. So I try and explore what that is. I'd probably start with running a retrospective on the retrospectives. Now, for a team that's already said they don't like retrospectives, that might be a bit of a risk, but this is an opportunity for them to actually get across what they don't like about them. Perhaps at some point they did like some things about the retrospectives. Would they like to bring some of those back? And actually the retrospective is just a practice. The principle is more important, continuously inspecting and adapting what we're doing to get better. So maybe they've got their own ideas about how they could get better that might not involve a retrospective as we know it. Perhaps it's because they're not actioning their ideas. They're fed up and don't see any point. I've got another video about swatting your actions that could be useful in that situation. Or perhaps you could try a different structure. Again, I've got another set of videos around themed retrospectives, which focus on particular areas, using metaphors to help people explore things a little bit more. Or perhaps you could try more or less time. Sometimes you haven't got enough time to really get to the root cause of something and drill down into what it's all about. So give yourself a little bit longer, try different things. Or contrary to that, try even less time. Actually give yourself a short amount of time to just get some small measure of improvement. You don't have to waste a lot of time on it. And sometimes just giving yourself a short amount of time can increase the amount of creativity. You could possibly turn the retrospective into something a little bit more hands-on. So rather than sitting around talking about stuff, actually use it as an opportunity to experiment or do something. Perhaps trying some new engineering practices or experimenting with some new technology. Whatever the situation, my experience tells me that teams that are bored of retrospectives aren't actually fed up with the idea of getting better. They're not disillusioned with the concept of inspecting and adapting. They're just a little bit tired of something repetitive or that's not really meeting their needs. So find out what need isn't being met by the current setup and explore ways of meeting that need. I'm going to follow this up with a top 10 tips about retrospectives in general so that you can try some of those to liven up your retrospectives. Hope you enjoyed this light bulb talk. If you did, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.